Hello everyone. So uh, today's video is about a detailed discussion about Hexaware's recruitment process for 2021 batch. Uh, we are going to check the pattern and also some of the sample questions. Uh, but before going for the sample questions, we will be checking out the uh, details on the pattern because uh, multiple websites, multiple videos might have created a confusion in your mind about what is the exact process for Hexaware. Okay, so let me tell you, Hexaware's hiring for 2021 batch happens in three particular models basically. Okay, so on the screen you can check uh, one is the open virtual campus, right? So for which uh, most of the students have applied and then they got a reply from uh, firstnokery.com. Many of you have not got, but uh, this is the virtual open campus drive where you fill the form uh, on Hexaware's official website. Okay, next is the on campus process. So uh, Hexaware has already started its on campus drives and uh, this is particularly for some of the colleges, very few colleges. Then there is also Hexaware and ICT Academy Initiative registered institutes. This is for the students whose colleges are registered under the Hexaware ICT initiative. I'm going to tell you detail about this also. So basically, uh, there are these three particular ways Hexaware is hiring 2021 batch students. Now let's check what is the process basically. So now as you can check, now this particular process, the, there are around eight to nine rounds. Uh, the first round is the online aptitude test. Then it is the coding assessment behavioral test, communication test, learning agility, technical interview one, technical interview two and HR discussion. A long process this particular process. It, this is basically for the on campus process. Okay. This is basically for the on campus process. They are using multiple platforms like first knock read, do select for their coding assessment, again metal. So this is basically uh, the process for on campus. Now uh, as I told you there is another on campus that is Hexaware and ICT Academy Initiative Registered Institute. So what is this initiative basically I will tell you. So Hexaware has also come up with a tie up with ICT Academy under their CSR activity and has registered 40 plus colleges under this particular program. So this program focuses on skill development and job creation for students uh, from rural areas. Okay. It will be useful for final year students from maybe Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. So uh, in this program what they do they first conduct an online assessment and then select them for training and then give them offer letter on successful completion of the training. Okay. So now uh, if you check this particular pattern the first round is a spoken and uh, written communication which consists of MCQ and other English communication activities. The second round is the general aptitude round which is again MCQ. Third round is technical. For computer science IT the questions are from Java. This is the MCQ based test again. And for circuit branches, the questions are from C and their first and second year engineering subjects. And round four is learning agility. Now what has happened? One particular online training company came up with a video saying all videos and all websites are wrong and whatever they have told, uh, they were particularly told this particular process and they are telling that this particular process is the only process. So uh, this has created a confusion among students who are facing on campus under this initiative okay because for them the process is little bit different so I don't understand how these companies create videos based on half knowledge and it is creating confusion among students okay one more important point to notice is that the on campus is basically offering around the package of 5 lakhs per annum and we know that the virtual open campus is offering the package of around 3.5 lakhs per annum in our last video about hexaware we mentioned about hexaware's pattern but clearly mentioned in our video and website that the pattern was for 2020 batch and if it changes for 2021 batch we will update it okay but we had not updated it because we were still not clear about the virtual open campus pattern because this pattern is for on campus this pattern is for on campus but only for the institutes who have registered under hexaware ict academy initiative okay so there is a chance that this pattern might get replicated over here okay for the virtual campus drive but again we have a question whether since the package offerings are different whether the process will be same if the process is same then definitely it will be happening according to this particular pattern there will be around eight rounds but for now most of you have received your mails from firstnokery.com to register for your slots even some of you got the mails that uh, you had booked the slot on 22nd and it has now been shifted to 26 some mails like that. But if the first round is on firstnokery.com then there is a high chance that the 
first round will be of aptitude test so guys those who have applied for open virtual campus currently focus on aptitude okay because uh, aptitude is the first round and we have still not clear about the further round so better to focus on aptitude if they further conduct the same process then you already know what the process is the second round is a coding assessment behavioral test communication test learning agility and the technical and personal interviews we will be definitely coming up with some of the sample questions for these particular rounds currently but all of you focus on aptitude okay now now those who have got on campus drive or if you are in hexaware ict type college you will definitely get detailed information from your training and placement officer so, so these students are definitely going to get detailed information about process dates how to apply everything from their training and placement officers okay so don't worry you can prepare according to this first pattern or according to this second pattern whichever institute you are there in okay even these patterns will be shared to you by your training and placement officer so don't worry at all about it okay now those who have applied through virtual open campus drive and got slot booking details okay so uh, the pattern i am not sure whether this same pattern will be replicated so i will recommend you to uh, first concentrate on aptitude and the um, now we will check out what we need to do so this basically aptitude test will be of easy and medium level okay it's, it will be of easy and medium level and maybe you will face issues related to time okay you will face time issues maybe you will get around one minute per question so uh, this is going to be a challenge for you now i will share some of the important topics which you can focus on so uh, you can focus on topics like time work percentage profit loss speed distance time average probability numbers permutation combination for quantitative aptitude okay for reasoning focus on topics like data interpretation sitting arrangement coding decoding bullet relation number series okay uh, verbal you can revise topics on sentence correction sentence completion para jumble sentence rearrangement and reading comprehension now these topics which we have mentioned are not the only topics you will get but since you have got less time you can use these important topics to revise okay i know if the test is going to happen on maybe 23rd 24th 25th or 26th you have got very less time but don't worry we will make some sample questions on aptitude and post it on our youtube channel which will help you revise things quickly i will again repeat the pattern for virtual campus is still not clear to us and once it gets clear we will update it on our youtube channel telegram channel instagram and whatsapp groups okay so uh, if this particular pattern gets replicated for this particular open campus then well and good you can start preparation after your online aptitude test for coding preparation behavioral test communication test we will also tell you more details about this test on our youtube channel okay so uh, i don't want to prove any uh, other channel or any uh, particular platform wrong but this is what the situation is this is particularly the on campus drive pattern this is basically on campus but for the institutes or the students who have institute registered under hexaware ict academy initiative and both of these students from both these particular colleges will get all detail information from tpo okay the only question remains is the students who have applied for virtual open campus drive i will again repeat you to concentrate on aptitude for the first round after aptitude you will get the details about the next round then you can worry about the further process okay so uh, we will start with the sample problems now in a certain code language fruits are good is written as this real fruits juices is written as this juices are healthy is written as this how will healthy fruit juices be written in this code language very easy first we'll find out code word for all these three first we'll go in for fruit okay check out in the first and second sentence we have fruits and fruits okay so what only that is common so over here in the code word the common word is lap lap is nothing but fruit so we'll write over here lap next we'll find out for juices juices is common in the second and third sentence and over here only word print is common so juices means print right and healthy now over here if you take a look carefully healthy is not common anywhere only r is common in the first sentence and the third sentence so common word over here is dmap 
which is nothing but R. So healthy must be gimt. So healthy is gimt. So healthy fruit juices can be written as gimt lapt prim. That is nothing but this option. So this is the answer. What should come in the place of the question mark in the following series based on the English alphabet? Now over here alphabets have been given from A to Z. First is B M W. This is B. Okay. Then this is M and this is W. Next is B M U W. So U has been added between M and W. Where, where is U? This is U. U has been added which is two places that is minus two before W. Two places before W. Then is B D M U W. So D has been added extra. This is D which is two places ahead of B plus two. Okay. Next is B D M S U W. S has been added extra. S is nothing but two places before U. So minus two. So next has to be two places after D. That is nothing but F. Okay. Plus two. After D, two places. F. So answer has to be B D F M S U W. Six persons A, B, C, D, E and F are seated in a row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. E and F will sit in the center. So this is E and this is F. Now it might happen that F is over here, E is over here. We'll look at that possibility later on if the need arise. We'll assume that E is over here, F is over here. A and B are to sit at the ends of rows. So A comes over here and B comes over here. D will sit to the immediate right of B. Now immediate right of B is this. There is no place over here. So B cannot come over here. B has to come over here. And A will come over here. Okay. Immediate right of B is this. D will sit over here. Which person will sit to the immediate left of A? Only one space is remaining and only one person is remaining C. So C will sit to the immediate left of A. Answer is C. In what ratio should a 30% methyl alcohol solution be mixed with a 70% methyl alcohol solution so that the resultant solution has 60% methyl alcohol solution in it. Very easy. This is a mixture sum. It can be solved using this diagram. 30% is the first part of methyl alcohol solution and second type is 70% methyl alcohol solution. We have to mix it to get 60% methyl alcohol solution. Okay. So very easily what we can do is we can calculate the ratio of mixture or ratio of the quantities that is to be mixed. 70 minus 60% is 10%. And 60% minus 30% is 30%. So the ratio has to be 10 is to 30. That is 1 is to 3. That is this option. 1 is to 3. So both have to be mixed in the ratio 1 is to 3. One part of 30% methyl alcohol solution and three parts of 70% methyl alcohol solution to get a resultant of 60% methyl alcohol solution. What is the difference between the sum of elements of set B and that of set A? If set A contains all the even numbers between 2 and 50, both inclusive and set B contains all even numbers between 102 and 150 both inclusive. Now from 1 to 50 there are total 50 numbers okay. Out of that 25 are odd right and 25 of them are even. These 25 even numbers started 2 and they ended 20. So over here set A which is there which is having even numbers between 2 and 50 will have 25 numbers. Same way, even numbers between 102 and 150 will have 25 numbers into this. So this is sort of an arithmetic progression, okay, series, okay, arithmetic progression series. Now in this arithmetic progression series, the first number is 2, total numbers are 25 and the common difference is 2. Same way over here, the first number is 102, the total numbers are 25 and Common difference is 2 because we want even numbers. So alternate numbers. So common difference is 2. Summation of this series will be what? It is given by n by 2 upon 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So that comes out to be 25 upon 2. 2 into a is 2. 2 is a 4. Okay. Because a first number is 2 plus n minus 1. 25 minus 1 is 24 into 2. That comes out to be 25 by 2 into 24. 2 is a 48 plus 4 is 52 that is 25 into 26 that comes out to be 650 this is the summation first summation okay or what we can call it as summation of a s a now let us find out s b s b same formula we will be using over here 25 by 2 2 a here it is a is 102 so that comes out to be 204 plus n minus 1 is 24 24 into common difference is 2 okay 
so that comes out to be 25 upon 2 on solving this entire thing over here what you get is 252 right that is 25 into uh, 25 into 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 12, 6, 126. Okay, 126 into 2, 252. That comes out to be 3150. And what we want is SB minus SA. That comes out to be 3150 minus 650. That would be 2500. So, answer is 2500. The length of a rectangle is less than twice its breadth by 1 centimeter. If the length is reduced by 5 cm and breadth increased by 5 cm, then its area increases by 35 square cm. Find the length and breadth of the rectangle. Let the length be L, breadth be B. What they have given is length is 1 less than twice the breadth. So, twice the breadth and 1 cm less than it. This is the relation between original length and breadth and we have to find the original length and breadth. Instead of going, uh, assuming, finding the area and then uh, adding the area and then solving the quadratic, Easiest way is to look at the options. Directly from options, we can say if this is length, length has to be greater, right? This is length, this is breadth, then twice of breadth is 13 into 2 is 26, minus 1 is 25. So, this one satisfies the equation, okay? This does not satisfy the equation because this is like 7 twos are 14 plus 2 is 16. So, we don't want plus 2, we want minus 1, less than 1 centimeter than the twice the breadth. Again over here, 11 into 2 is 22, 22 minus 1 is 21. So again, this also satisfies the equation. This again does not satisfy the equation. So answer has to be 25 centimeter and 13 centimeter or 21 centimeter and 11 centimeter. Now how to find the final answer? Very easy. What is the original area for the, in the first case, the original area will be length into breadth that is 25 into 13. That comes out to be 325 centimeter square. Okay. Now, the area has to increase by 35 square centimeters they have given. So, what should be the area now? 360 centimeter square. What is the new length reduced by 5 centimeters? So, the new length becomes 20. New breadth. Breadth increased by 5 centimeters. So, it would be 18. And 20 into 18 is nothing but 360. So, this is the right answer. You can check out for 21 and 11. You won't get this answer. Let us see. 21 into 11. The area... Uh, would come out to be like 21 tens are 210 into 11, 231. 35 you will add in this, what you will get is 6, 6, 266. Now, new length will be what? 5 less, that is 16. And new breadth would be 5 more, that is 16. 16 square is 256, okay? Which is less than 266. It is not equal to 266. So, this is not the answer. Answer is 25 centimeter and 13 centimeter. In an organization, there are 100 male members, but no female members. If 25 male members are replaced by 25 female members, what will be the ratio of the male members to the female members in the organization? Total, there are 100 males. Now, 25 males have been replaced by females. So, how many males remain? 75 males. How many females are there now? 25 females. Okay. So, what is the ratio of male members to female members? Very easy. 25 ones are, 25 threes are. So, 3 is to 1. This is the answer. This question is based on the graphic shown below. The sequence given in the image follows a particular pattern. What would be the missing number in place of the symbol question mark in the sequence? Okay. So, here we have to find the answer. If you see the first column, the relation is very easy. 7 into 3 comes out to be 21. Add 4 to it, you get 25. Okay. 14 into 3 comes out to be 42. Add 4 to it, you will get 46. 25 into 3 comes out to be 75, add 4 to it, you will get 79. So, what we have to do is we have to multiply by 3, okay, and then we have to add 4 to it. So, we will get 124 over here. So, let this be x. So, what you will get is x into 3 is 3x and add 4 to it and you will get 364. So, 3x would be what? 360 and x would come out to be 120. This is the answer. The production of a company for 3 successive years has increased by 10%, 30%, 90% respectively. What is the average annual increase of production? Now, the error which people make is they want average. So, what they do is they add all of this, divide by 3 and they get the average. But they are not taking a look at the numbers. First, in the first year, the uh, what we say production increased by 10%. In the second year, the production increased by triple. Okay, that is 30%. 
again in the third year this triples and it becomes 90 percent so it is not a normal arithmetic uh, series it is a geometric series and whenever we want uh, whenever we have a geometric series the formula for finding the average is not this okay it is slightly different if there are three numbers say one two and three okay uh, and these three numbers are in geometric progression or geometric series its average okay is given by the formula since three numbers are there so cube root okay into product 1 into 2 into 3 first number multiplied by second number by third number so three numbers over here are 10 30 and 90 so its geometric average or geometric mean would be given by three numbers so cube root if there would have been two numbers it would have been square root if there are four numbers then the fourth root okay so here three numbers are there so cube root of 10 into 30 into 90 so out of that what we will have is cube root of 27 into 1000 I'll I have clubbed all the zeros together and numbers together. So that comes out to be 3 into 10 that is 30 percent. So answer is 30 percent. Seven students named A, B, C, D, E, F and G are sitting in a circle. Okay. So first I will draw a circle. Right. Uh, not a good circle but still. Study the given information and fill in the blank that follows. Six students A, B, C, D, F and G are at equal distances from each other. Now a circle can prices of 360 degrees so six equidistant positions means each position must be 60 degrees apart so if this is the first position okay let us assume that all of them are facing inside okay so i have drawn an arrow facing inside so if this is the first position this is 90 degree this is 180 degree this is 270 degrees and the first position must be 60 degrees apart so let us assume this is the 60 degrees apart so this is angle 60 degrees this is the remaining 30 degrees of this 90 degree right then next one again will be 30 degrees from here so that 60 comes over here so first position second position third position this is the fourth position then again fifth position comes over here this is 60 degrees this is 30 degrees and the sixth position comes over here 30 degrees and 60 degrees six of them sit at equidistant position that means that e must be sitting somewhere in between we don't know where but in between let us assume and start solving and then we can place a e C is sitting two places right of F. I don't know where F is or where anyone is. I'll assume F sits over here. So two places to the right is one and two. So C, C sits over here. F is sitting to the immediate right of D. So D should be over here. Immediate right is F. G and B are sitting at exact opposite positions. So opposite positions are possible only over here and here. So either B sits over here and G sits over here or what we can have is G sits over here and B sits over here. We'll decide on it. Let us see. And B is sitting to the left of E. If B is sitting over here, E must come where? E must come over here at this position. Why? Because then only to the left of E, B would be there. Right? So let us assume that B is over here and G is over here and E is sitting over here. Right? At Okay? In the in between between uh, B and D. A is at an angle of 90 degrees from E. Only remaining position is this. So A comes over here. Okay. So at 90 degrees, this is the center. So if we calculate the angle, yes, this is 60 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees. It comes out to be 120 degrees from E. So E cannot be over here. If E cannot be over here, B cannot be over here. So G has to sit over here and B has to sit over here. So where will E be? E will be over here. Okay. Because left hand side of E has to be B. This is 30 degrees angle. This is 60 degrees angle. Now let us calculate angle. A is 90 degrees from E. This is 30 plus 60 is 90. And A is at an angle of 120 degrees from B. From B, this is 60 entire. And this is 60. That is 120 degrees. So this is the correct position. Dash is sitting between C and B. C is over here. B is over here. E is sitting between C and B. So answer is E.